Our, this is our non-COVID side, and this is all the, the respiratory or COVID side of the emergency department. So I think um, the D-Pod is 10 beds, and I'll take you over to, these are our acute care beds where after patients are stabilized, they'll go into those rooms. And those are all um, uh, 10 negative pressure beds. And then we have another six negative pressure beds between the pediatric ED and um, the, the A side on this side. So if we need to have overflow, we do have that, that capacity. When you go in and you have, if you're wearing powered air purifying respirators, you have multiple people, multiple IV pumps, it becomes a very small room for doing a resuscitation. It, it works, but it's not optimal. So this is kind of what we have been using, and then we'll go over and take a look at the, the new rooms that we have. So this, this room is much larger than the um, a, a typical uh, acute care room. This is a, a for a major resuscitation, either um, medical or trauma, but these are specifically uh, set up as negative pressure rooms. So they're much safer for the respiratory patients or the COVID patients. So it allows us to have room for multiple individuals in here. We have much uh, more equipment that is available um, to be able to um, manage the unstable uh, medical or trauma patient. What this is is an IV train that would be hooked up to the patient and what you we have are a number of medications that are pre-drawn up so when we go to do what we call a rapid sequence intubation we push the drugs in order and what that does is it decreases the chance of having a medication error um, when you're wearing protective equipment in an um, endotracheal intubation. Um, even after COVID passes, what, what we'll have is uh, two resuscitation areas and for adult patients. Um, so we'll really be running three full emergency departments at, at, at Augusta University. We have the pediatric and then we have um, the, the A side and this would be the D side emergency department.